the dialogue between Satan and the woman. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Has God indeed said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it lest you die. Then the serpent said to the woman. You will not surely die. For God knows, that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like, God. Knowing good, and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree desirable to make one wise, she took of its fruit, and ate. She also gave to her husband with her, and he ate. Let's examine this dialogue between Satan and the woman. What is Satan's strategy? Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Has God indeed said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? What is Satan's strategy? How does Satan attack, God's word? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. Then the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die. For God knows, that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good, and evil. How does Satan attack, God's word? He wants us to question God's word. He wants to plant seeds of doubt in our heart. We'll now see how Satan attacked God's word and deceived the woman. What does God say about the trees, in the garden? And how does Satan attack it? And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden, you may freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. And how does Satan attack it?
Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman. Has God indeed said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? What does God say about the trees, in the garden? And how does Satan attack it? How does the woman, take away from God's word? And the Lord God commanded the man, saying. Of every tree of the garden, you may freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. And the woman said to the serpent. We may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden. How does the woman, take away from God's word? How does the woman, add, to God's word? Of every tree of the garden, you may freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. How does the woman, add, to God's word? How does the woman, soften God's word? Of every tree of the garden, you may freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. How does the woman, soften God's word? Because the woman has taken away from God's word, added to God's word, softened God's word, she has put herself in harm's way. What does the serpent, then say, to the woman? Then the serpent said to the woman. You will not surely die.
Can you see the difference between, what God said, and what Satan said, in these verses? Of every tree of the garden, you may freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. Then the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die. Can you see the difference between, what God said, and what Satan said, in these verses? How does Satan attack God's goodness? For God knows, that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened. And you will be like God. Knowing good and evil. How does Satan attack God's goodness? What did Satan say, to lure the woman to eat the fruit? For God knows, that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened. And you will be like God. Knowing good and evil. What did Satan say, to lure the woman to eat the fruit?